The entire time I knew him, he only had one goal. To dominate the track 5k. The hardest races require the strongest wills. Fun isn't something one considers when racing a 5k, but this does bring a smile to my face. So I hope you guys enjoyed that intro, definitely had a lot of fun making it at least. But as you can probably tell by the title and the intro and all that, I'm going to be racing a 5k at my first track meet this season. This video is going to be a recap vlog, race analysis video, all about this first 5k on the track. So let's go ahead and get it started. So I was actually back on spring break during this meet, so we had to drive up from Richmond to Fredericksburg where Mary Washington is. So we made it here to Mary Washington. Uh, the, the, uh, he got pushed back like three hours, so we're just going to be hanging out. So since I had so much free time, I got a lot of race footage from races that tech guys were in, which I'm going to start narrating right now. So Connor Lee, one of the absolute animals on the team, was able to throw down a 9.53 in the 3K steeple, which is just an insane time. Up next was the boys 1500, which had my brother and a few other tech guys in it. Big shout out to my boy Sam LeBon, who was able to throw down a 416, doing about 20 miles a week. In the second heat, Spencer Conti was able to take it by four hundredths of a second, running a very quick 418. In the third heat of the men's 15, my brother was running, and although he didn't PR in his mile converted, he did get a brand new PR in the 15, as he won his heat in a pretty great 431, which equates to about a 448, 449 mile. I am a distance runner, so that's what I mostly focus on, but here is one heat of the girls 100 that a bunch of you sprinters should enjoy. One of my old high school teammates, Emily Nur, was in the 800, and she ran a great time of 2.25. The final race I have recorded here is a showdown in the 800 between my friends Aiden and Matt. Aiden ended up prevailing, running too flat to Matt's 201. Okay, so we're finally about to warm up after waiting for like a few hours. So obviously I'm not gonna film my own race, so why not? I think my boy my boy Joe has it right here. I got it. He's giving you the expert. Joe's got it though. I got you. We'll get the fast times. So from here on out, Joe basically recorded everything I did, stretching to warm up and all that, just so I could lock in mentally so I could really focus in on my race. So before we get to my heat of the 5K, I want to give a huge, huge shout out to my training partner, Jared. He went in with the goal of breaking 16. But Jared, what's your goal in the uh, 5K this year? To break 16. And in this race, he was able to run a 15.59, hitting his goal in the very first race of the season. Okay, we got the... Second round of the 5K coming up. Ooh, Striders, Striders, Striders. They're just chilling. I respect it. So with the race about to go off, I'm going to go ahead and put in a face cam right here so you guys can see my reaction as I commentate the race. Okay, so to start this race, I kind of want to start by saying my goals, just so you guys have an idea of what I'm shooting for and all of that. So... My number one goal, something I absolutely needed to do in this race, was PR. My PR was 1743. I feel like I'm in a lot better shape than that. So I'm going to hope I PR at least and run at least 1742. Second, I wanted to break 1730. This is what I was really shooting for. I want to go sub 1730, get in the 20s. And then my unrealistic goal, break 17. If by some miracle I was in that shape, I, um, I would have done that. But... We'll see what happens, not gonna give anything away, but this heat was pretty fast. 
Uh, there was only two guys or so seated slower than me. Everyone in this heat was seated 1730 or faster. So it was really, really tough. I just had to hang with the back of the pack, find a group of my own, and basically just work from there. Okay, so coming up on the first lap here, we're still all in a big pack. There were a lot of tech guys in this race, so we're kind of leading the charge up there. There's two packs already. First pack, super fast, all sub-17. Second pack is going to be me right there as I go through the 400. I think we opened up in about 75, 76, which is definitely a lot faster than I want to. Ideally, if I were racing, I'd want to run about 530 pace, which uh, is which is like 82, 82, 83 is what I ideally want to be going out in. So there's that top group once again, kind of separating a bit more. All of those guys are going to run like 16, 15 or something like that. We get a few stragglers here. I'm going to come through right there. My brother is just sitting right on my shoulder, which... It's a good race plan, I guess, since we're in similar shape right now. Okay, so at this point, we've gone through the 1,000, about to hit the 1,200, and this is kind of the point where you start feeling kind of tired, getting there about 20%, a bit more, done with the race. So this is where you kind of start having to get focused. The first three laps in a 5K are not hard at all, just because it's at a slower pace. But once you get into that second mile, that's when you really got to lock in. So there's the top guys coming through. They're cruising. I'm way behind. Um, it's kind of getting some separation here. My brother and I have moved up a bit and locked on this guy in green who I'm going to sit on for the next couple laps. But we have a solid pack of three right there between my brother, I, myself, and um, this other guy. Okay, so here we come right about at the mile or 1600 or however you want to classify it about a third of the way done with the race and this is where it really starts getting hard you can go out eat hard and feel okay the first mile but the second mile is what kills we're gonna come through the mile here at about 528 but 528 for the mile which is about what i wanted as long as i could hold that pace so on this lap now we're gonna be coming through the 2k which is 40 percent done with the race i'm still going to be hanging strong with that pack of three and we're actually gaining on my friend jacob who's right in front of us coming up here you can just see it we're about 10 meters or so behind him so we're really looking at this point i was like this is great we can go catch jacob reel him in slowly and just pound through this next 3k and hopefully dominate from there so we've got a bit of a different camera angle now for the race, but it's, it's about the same thing now coming through the 2400, six laps in. This is about the halfway point. If you're hanging strong here, you just got to push through and finish this hard. Again, we're trying to keep Jacob in our sights, trying to reel him in slowly here, but this pack of three is really doing great, and we're holding our own in this uh, very spread out race at this point. Okay, so now as we come through that seventh lap, you can see I'm actually about, I'm dropping back a bit, which, yeah, I was, I was hurting at this point, so I let them go. I really should have. I needed to stick with them because now I'm in no man's land with five and a half laps still to go, which is really going to suck coming up in the uh, last mile. So now we're going to be two miles into this race eighth lap coming and i'm really really starting to get gapped here my second mile was 1106 so i was at 533 pace which is still pretty solid it would have put me at a great place but the next mile is really really rough for me i forgot how long a 5k on the track is but we're just going to try to hold strong and keep pushing through so a lap later, and you're going to see this pack of two of my brother and this other guy really closing in on Dave and Jacob, who are the two tech guys up ahead. So if I stayed with this group, I think I really would have been at a great spot. But you're going to see me here in a second, and I'm really going to be dropping fast. I was probably 30 meters behind at this point, so it just wasn't looking good. At this point, we uh, have less than a mile to go, so it's really about staying strong and pushing through, which is something I didn't do that well in this race. But it is the first one, so we can learn from our mistakes and know to stay with the pack the next race.
So as we round the bend here, we have less than three laps to go. Seems like the race is over so quick now, but we gotta stay strong for a bit more than four minutes here as we hopefully can close pretty fast and um, you know, just try to keep it together and hope we can close so that we are gonna end with a good time instead of a bad time. Sometimes the last two laps of your 5k can make or break the race depending on how hard you kick and so with an ever-changing camera angle we're gonna come through with 800 to go and at this point I knew I had to kick it was really the time I was dropping about 545 550 pace the whole time during this last mile so the last two laps really had to excel what I had already been doing and hopefully take it to a next level. If I can close in a 245 for the 5K, I would be super happy. So there's Dave going through with a lap to go and I'm honestly hoping I don't get lapped at this point. You can see me just ahead of the leader, Spencer there. And one lap to go, I'm gonna try to kick, give everything I have. At this point, I know I'm gonna PR. I, need, I, I think I need to run like a 90 or even slower than that to get my PR. But we have to kick and every second we can shave off here in the final lap is gonna be a big one. Here comes Kenny and Jacob, two of the guys a bit ahead of me that we were trying to work off in the beginning of the race. Jacob Woody with the insane kick here passes Kenny, but both of these guys are going to run mid-1650s, sub-17, and um, good races by both of them. So now a bit behind is Jacob and this other guy we were working off earlier. They are going to run about 1710, so if I could have stuck with them... It would have been a whole different race, but of course, shoulda, woulda, coulda, it's gonna hurt a bit. Here comes Dave. Dave was about 1720, and if I stuck with him, we still would have had a great race, but all these are regrets. Here I come finally kicking hard. I think I closed my last lap in a 76, which was absolutely great, and there's the finish. I am actually gonna end up barely missing my secondary, um... My secondary goal of 1730, I ended up running 1731, which is a 12 second PR from me, which I was more than happy with to start the season. That's going to wrap it up for the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. I will have another meat vlog coming very soon, so make sure you subscribe so you do not miss it. But until then, exceed yourself every day. I'll see you guys soon with a new one.